today. They had one very close game at the start of the day. They picked up the win in the second game. Well, we're into game number three for both of these teams. The deciding game, game number six of the tournament. And it all comes down to this. They really want to get this second seed. Yeah, they absolutely do. And I expect this is going to be a very close matchup as well. Coming out here again on sub base. AG and Pacific Mark. We've seen AG play it. We've also seen Pacific Mark to play it. And they both picked up wins on it. Now for Alive here for Pacific Markta. They're starting off on the attacking side. One minute 50 to go. We saw that AG kind of uh, struggled defending on this map a little bit earlier. Yep. We'll see how they go this time. Yeah, definitely. And Pacific Markta, of course, uh, they let a few rounds go away on their defensive side as well. But they had a very good attacking side. And I think that's uh, really the takeaway here at the moment. Pacific Markta, obviously, starting off on the attack, will be wanting to get off on the right foot. And unfortunately, that hasn't quite happened. Cram's already been taken down by AG. So 4v5 to start off this first round. It's not the greatest of situations, but it could be definitely worse. Well, revenge on the sniper rifle here as all four members of the Filipino team will push towards the B-bomb site. You can see that the guys from AG have dropped back for now. They're leaving it open. They're ready to fire from a little bit further away, but they're not going to get that information that perhaps they want. You can see a three stack on the right one waiting uh, waiting just to hold off in the middle there to see if they can uh, pick up any rotations. They're going to push through. Still four alive here for the Filipinos. 50 seconds on the clock. They're going to execute onto the B-bomb site. Yeah, not a lot of time to work with, and you can see a very early rotation starting to come across here by AG. It's been a good read by the defensive side here, but now it's all down to the hands of Pacific Makta as they try to make their entry on towards this bomb site. As you say, 35 seconds left now on the clock here. They're really letting this timer run down, trying to find some picks, and it's just not happening. Revenge gets taken down, and so does ZYK. Bio also falls, and across the board, AG just picking up kills. Aldrin does manage to get a double before he goes down, but... It's not enough. A little bit too little too late here, Elfish Guy. The first round of the match going over to all gamers. I think at the start of the day, we expected them to pick this one up 3-0 across the day. Yep. To be fair, they could be just one round shy of doing that, but they have to get through Pacific Mark to first. And of course, trying to get that second seed for tomorrow. So important. Absolutely is. And AG, once again, setting up with a fairly defensive setup. They haven't decided to go for an aggressive push. We have seen them do that a couple of times here on this map, but not this time. LSN is going to be dropped by Bio. So the initial pick goes the favor of Pacific Macta this time. Yeah, that's a very, very good start. That's exactly what they need to be doing. Still plenty of time to work with. They're going to hold towards the left side of the map, just sitting outside for the moment, watching those entrances. You can see a three stack coming out from AG over towards the A site. Only one player for them over on B at the moment. And well, that leaves it a little bit open before we saw when they held the site, when they held that B site, they held it from the distance. But right now, it looks like Pacific Makta are gonna try and push onto this A site that already has a hold. Yeah, it's not gonna be easy. There's a, obviously a player up in that sniper's nest as well, sort of floating around in that area. So really, there's three players on this site for Pacific Makta to deal with. And typically it would be only two. 70 kg is gonna find a kill there for the guys on AG, and it's back to a 4v4, an important kill as well, considering it's revenge. It certainly is, and well, for the moment, the attacking team going to sit over towards the A site still. They want to make this happen. We've seen the A site be the more popular site for trying to get this bomb plant down, and for the moment, Pacific Makta are going to keep attempting to do this. They did not mm. succeed on B before, but at the moment, you can see that the setup here from AG is entirely different to what happened earlier. Bayo are going to take a little bit of damage. Now three players left alive here for PM, and well, they're going to have to uh, get a bit of movement going because there's only... 35 seconds on the clock and they want to get the bomb down. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not really liking the play from Pacific Markta so far. They seem to be playing into the hands of AG, who have got obviously 70 kg, picking up so many kills. Now trying to go for the towards that bomb side. Zip here is going to find a triple kill. Fantastic work from him. AG just clean up that round so easily. But going back to my point, if Pacific Makta keep playing slowly like this, allowing 70 kg time to rotate across the map, move around, get into new positions, he's just going to pick them off one by one. Yeah, absolutely. They definitely need to change things up. Cram going to go down to ZQ straight away. Bayo, he's going to take a little bit of damage as well. Oh, look at that. Bayo and ZK picks up three across the board. Wow. Yeah, fantastic stuff there for Pacific Marketer. This is looking like a round which they should pick up from here on out. There's no way they should drop this one. Although, in saying that, AG are not going to make it easy. Even finds one before being traded out. Great shot from Revenge. 
And now the crowd's starting to get involved. Perhaps that sixth man that everyone likes to talk about might be something to talk about here as well. ZQ, though, is going to find one on two. ZOK. And now it's a 2v1. Definitely a winnable situation here for AG. Yeah, Bayo and Revenge, the last two players left alive. 135 on the clock. Ooh. But they're going to move across to ZQ. But it doesn't matter. They pick him up and they get a round on the board. Yeah, exactly, and that's what they needed. I mean, 2 1 is definitely not too bad of a scoreline here. 3 0 might have been starting to uh, look a little bit worrying here, but at least Pacific Makta is able to draw one back early and get themselves back in this game before things got too out of hand. AG now have to, to respond, essentially. They certainly do, and well, a bit of an interesting hold for the moment coming out from AG. You can see only one on that A site. The remaining four players pushing out towards B4 now. And that's going to match up very, very nicely with Pacific Markto, who are currently sitting out towards that B site as well. Only the one player yet again trying to hold any rotation. Smokes come out. You can see that the hold is quite far back. Even going to go down to Aldra, and this is going to open it up just a little bit here for Pacific Mark Durham. Well, if they can get onto the site and get this bomb down, it's certainly going to make life a lot, lot easier for them. Yeah, definitely. AG getting restless on that defense as well, moving around the map quite a bit here, not really holding onto their positions quite as uh, comfortably as we might have seen them in the first couple of rounds. So AG definitely getting a little bit worried here now that Pacific Mark Durham are starting to get that ball rolling. And they're going to make their way in towards that B side. Some good flashbacks, really nullifying the effectiveness of 70 kg. He hasn't done much yet. ZYK is going to find one cram with a double on the entry, and he actually gets another. Fantastic stuff there. Pacific Makta find their second round. Yeah, Zeke going huge. That's exactly what you need to do. We're back to 2 2, and the home crowd going wild here. These guys would love to see them come through and guarantee themselves second seed heading into tomorrow. But, well, all gamers, it is not done yet. These guys are such strong contenders. Let's see what they can do. For the moment, teams are relatively even. Obviously, two and two apiece. It's uh, still hanging in the balance. Revenge is going to start things off in an important frag as well, considering 70kg has been the one to uh, open up a lot of these rounds that AG have been able to win. So, with him off the board, Pacific Markta are looking very good in this round as well. Yeah, it makes life a lot, lot easier. You can see that LSN has picked up a sniper as well. Revenge has three frags so far this game. Not, not bad so far. Let's see if he can do even more. We saw that video. He obviously plays a lot of crossfire, Elfish guy. He's got yep. the support of all his family and friends. What more could you want? I guess the support of the, the crowd. He's got that too. Yeah. Not much to complain about here for Pacific Mark Darren. Well, they've started off okay on some base. LSN's got the sniper and he does manage to find a kill on Tobio. Bring it back to a 4v4 now. And so Pacific Mark just left reeling a little bit after that. But still a doable situation. And yep. a lot of time to work with as well. Yeah, still plenty of time on the clock. They're going to grab the bomb and move back towards mid here. Looking like maybe they want to try and uh, transition over to this B site. We've seen that even if uh, AG lets go of the site, if they hold back, they can still do quite a bit of damage from range. But Zeke going to find even. Bring it back to a four on three now. You can see LSN trying to find some frags. So far, it's not working out for him. And now 49 seconds on the clock, it looks... Maybe like a oh, Will wow. they get caught off Revenge what with a, a frag? What a shot. That was an excellent shot from Revenge. Not going to be able to follow it up there. ZQ finding the kill. And we're back to a 3v2, which still, of course, favors Pacific Makta in this situation. The bomb is going to go down. They'll have plenty of time here to get some nice post-plant positions. And Cram there is going to be playing around, trying to make it difficult for AG here to uh, get in towards this bomb site. I really like this situation for Pacific, Pacific Makta. ZQ, very low on HP, although he's going to be able to find ZYK. And so now we have a game on our hands, 2v2. This is very doable for the AG lineup. And, well, in saying that, Aldrin is going to find one. And it's just down to TMQ, but Aldrin grabs two. And that's enough for Pacific Makta to close out their third round. Wow, starting to get some real runs on the board here, Elfish Guy. And, uh, I know you said you liked it, but to me I was a little bit concerned, the potential there. But for three individual 2v1, right, right. yep. but it, that's not how it worked out. They got there in the end, and wow. Now Pacific Makta, 3-2 up on the scoreboard. Let's see what else they can do. It hasn't all been A sign as well. We talked about this A sign. They've been going A, they've been going B. They've had quite a bit of success. Yeah, absolutely. And three rounds in a row now for Pacific Makta. AG haven't really uh, pulled anything off in the last few rounds. So definitely things starting to get a little worrisome here for the Chinese team. Pacific Makta are starting to look very good. And, uh, well, maybe that hype train is going to start get rolling, start to get rolling here for the local team. Yeah, I think there's plenty of people in the audience with tickets to the, the hype train right now, and I certainly do not blame them. 
Looking very, very good. Still five alive for both teams. 136 on the clock towards the B site. You can see Zeke here up the back trying to uh, find an entry frag onto this B site. Still, nothing has happened as of yet. Although in saying that, even is very low on HP. Oh, ZYK is going to find 70 kg. Crucial frag again. Sniper for AG is no longer going to be playing a part in this round. And again, Pacific Mark to get the opening frag. They get the advantage into the round. LSN is able to draw one back, but he loses a bit of HP in doing so. And across the board, Pacific Mark to definitely looking a lot healthier than AG. They certainly are. They're very, very cautiously still trying to push onto this B site. You can see LSN up the back there as well. As you said, tag down to about 50% HP. So he's going to need to be very, very careful. He's out there all on his lonesome. So if they can find this frag and they do, Cram will uh, oh. actually pick up even. And LSN goes down as well. That leaves the B site open. They can get the bomb plant down. And now it's a 2v4. AG with all the work to do. Could this be 4-2? to two? It potentially could. It very much should be as well. The bomb is going to be planted. And now TMQ and ZQ are going to try and find something. But Revenge is going to shut that down with a double kill. Looking very, very good. Revenge is definitely turning up today. Exactly what uh, AG needed as well. He is, of course, their star player. And he's been uh, the one to carry them through a lot of these games so far. He's definitely looking like he's doing that at the moment. Top fragging for his team. Seven on the board for Revenge. And four overall for Pacific Magda. It's looking very good. AG have really got to respond now. Yeah, they need to change things up. You can see a three stack pushing actually quite far forward on this B site for now. Leaving the A site really completely open here. Only one player on the site. One player ready to lurk or rotate as needed. We've seen that A-site be popular across the tournament. Potential here should Pacific Mark to find this information out. That they could push on there very, very quickly. Mm. Pacific Mark to haven't really got a whole lot of information actually at the moment though. They haven't really spotted out any of those AG players. Obviously have quite a lot of time to work with here, but you know, still uh, some takeaways there for AG. And like I said, this is an important time for AG. They really need to, be able to get definitely more than two rounds on the first half here, and this would be a good time to start, to be fair. I'm surprised we haven't seen AG decide to go for a double sniper setup. Yeah, we talk about it a lot, but we really haven't seen it all that much today. But at the moment, the momentum in the favour of Pacific Markta, but even going to try to make something obvious, he picks up Z. You can see Graham firing from the distance, trying to find a frag here onto even. Well, at the moment, it's not going to work. He will also take out Aldrin. This is going to make it very difficult here for Pacific Markta. They want to get onto the site, but it's not working out for them. Oh. Even finds another cram, goes down. Bargo and Revenge, the last two left. Even has been holding on to this position like a madman. Finds another kill and still alive. He's on four kills for this round. Only needs one more to be able to get that 5k, but really, I think he's going to be happy if anyone on AG is able to pick it up. He'll finally break that drought for the defensive side. It's all down to Revenge. We've seen him pull it off so many times before and he does take down 70 kg. Hasn't got control of that bomb. 30 seconds left on the clock here. So he's got a lot of work to do. But obviously we know what a player he is. He can definitely pull this off. Yeah, well, you can see where the C4 is there. He needs to push through. You would expect surely he won't find two individual 1v1s here. You would like to think that the guys can seconds. trade him out. He's got such little time to work with. He's going to run across the bomb, pick it up. Z's one, but ZQ picks him up. And around going to go over to all gamers. It was always going to be a difficult situation for him. And unfortunately for Pacific Master, wasn't able to pull it off. But it's not curtains just yet for them. They still have the lead in terms of the rounds here. And AG at least finally able to get something back into this one. So, still think we've got a game on our hands. This one, for me, is going to be very close. 5-4 would be what I think. Don't know which way, though. Yeah, well, wow, 70 kg. We'll find a frag. Bayo going to go down very early on. We talked about how he needs to push forward. On defense, needs to find those frags, needs to peek out, and, and, you know, just make things a little bit more difficult for his opponents. And he did that just there. When he does it, it makes life so much easier for AG. Absolutely, and well, life's looking pretty good for AG at the moment with that player advantage, with a fairly decent control of the map as well. I mean, Pacific Mukta haven't pushed in anywhere. They haven't got that much information. And so it's always going to be tough here for Pacific Mukta. But now finally, the time is starting to tick away. It is forcing Pacific Mukta to move in. They're going to find a kill. ZYK picking up TMQ. Yeah, Zeke in a good spot, but uh, he will get traded out by ZQ there. Three left alive for the attacking team. They pick through. No one there. No frags going down. They still have control of the bomb and 120 on the clock. You can see that they've got a 2-1 split right now, so I'm not sure how that's going to work out for them. You can see one player over towards the B site trying to bait players across, but for now, he won't find any more than that one. 
Still not a terrible situation here for Pacific Marketer. ZQ, very low on HP. Could be an easy cleanup for any of these Pacific Marketer team, uh, players, rather. As of yet, though, they haven't decided to go for the challenge. It does look like it's going to be the B site once again here for Pacific Marketer, and it's worked out quite a few times for them so far. In saying that, though, even is going to be holding on to this position like he did last round. It's going to be very tough for Pacific Marketer. And we'll see what they can do on the entry. Cram leading the way. Hasn't spotted Nima out just yet. Pacific Mac to really need to speed things up here. There's only 35 seconds left on that clock. LSN watching the angle. Even's going to throw out a grenade here just to slow things down a little bit for Pacific Macta. As of yet, none of them tagged up. The entry should come out momentarily. Well, wow, about down to 20 seconds on the clock here. They're going to need to move very quickly. That's not going to help. LSN gets the frag. Aldrin drags one back to the 2v2 now. Aldrin finds two. Wow, 13 seconds and now Cram, the last one left alive. He's in a 2v1 and he will get picked up. 4-4 is the score heading into the final round of the first half. 70 kg coming up with the goods there in that one. ZQ, of course, the star aimer, I suppose, for AG. What we spoke about last time we saw them is having a pretty good game here as well. 10 kills on the board for him. He's leading the charge in terms of all the players in, all, in both teams. Yeah, absolutely. Certainly helps to have uh, so many frags on the board as well. It's obviously starting to carry this team. Someone needs to stand up for AG here and start getting those frags, and it's been ZQ this game. And, uh, well, when it's not 70 kg, it has to be something else. Yeah, but 70 kg here is going to be doing a pretty good job. Revenge goes down. Sniper goes sniper battle. Goes the way of the Chinese. ZYK is able to trade one back, though. And now we're going to start to see AG pull ahead. ZQ finding a double kill. And now it's Pacific Makta trying to survive. But Bio on his own, and he won't get the job done. 5-4 in the favor of AG after the first half. Well, you said you thought it would be a 5-4 first half, just in the favor of who? Yeah. We we're not sure, but it looks like all gamers will pick it up and head into the second half with the lead. We'll be changing sides, coming back and seeing what they can do. But for now, this uh, this Filipino team is still in this game. They've been playing some very, very good um, crossfire so far. Yep. They just need to follow it up with a good second half. That's about as close as it's going to get. They, of course, it is the closest it's going to get <laughs> after the first half. So, look, it's uh, definitely not like Pacific Mountain is out of this one at all, being down only a single round. This one is very much still hanging in the balance. Yeah, well, I personally spoke about how I felt AG were a little bit more comfortable on attack earlier on in the day. Let's see if that stays true here up against the Filipinos. But for now, they're going to just hold towards mid. That bomb just sitting back. They're trying to uh, play it nice and safe. Don't want to get caught out with the bomb being dropped somewhere. They can't get it back. It's always a, a little bit inconvenient if you lose control. It, yeah, definitely does seem like AG are a little stronger on the attacking side, but, you know, they haven't been up against Pacific Marketer just yet, who, in theory, on paper, has looked like their strongest competition so far. But, obviously, we saw Boss doing some amazing work today. So, maybe Pacific Marketer will not be the strongest opponent, opponent that AG faces throughout this tournament. For now, though, they're having a pretty good time on that attacking side, picking up the first kill of the second half. It's traded out pretty quickly, though, by Pacific Marketer. But there we go, a couple of quick frags go the way of AG. Pacific Marketer doing their best to pick some up of their own, but overall, it's definitely looking like AG have the advantage here. Three versus two, LSN is going to be dropped, though, by Revenge. We're back to a 2v2. Revenge was in a good spot there, but wasn't able to get anything done, and it all falls on the shoulders now of Cram in a 2v1. Yeah, 30 seconds on the bomb clock here, and all the players are to his left. He needs to play this very, very carefully. Does not want to get traded out. Needs to find the two 1v1s are a fantastic spray down. He knows where one is, but they now know where he is as well. He's going to push through. There's a player behind him, and even will find the frag round going across to AG. Good round for AG. Didn't really seem to be particularly challenged there, but it did come pretty close. It's a little early to call, but it uh, does look like AG are feeling quite comfortable on that attacking side. TMQ going to be tanked up just a little bit there, but he's okay. He'll be able to survive, and he's still a gun in the game, and that's what's important. Revenge, oh, he's just alive. And uh, we'll see if he has much more of a story to tell in this round. Yeah, we'll certainly have to see. 70 kg once again, not getting uh, the frags he necessarily needs to get, but his team is in the lead, and well... I think uh, they play out a little bit differently when it comes to a best of three. These best of ones can be a little bit difficult, I think, for yep. the Chinese team. Absolutely, and I, I'm really excited to see how those best of threes go tomorrow. I mean, not just Pacific Markta and AG, but Hemo Brave and uh, Boss as well. Yeah. It's going to be an uh, interesting dynamic to see how things shift once we get into those longer format 
uh, modes. So, I mean, maybe digressing a little bit, that's for tomorrow. But for now, it is looking like AG are, again, having quite a nice time on this attacking side. Even is going to find one. LSN also picking up a kill onto Cram. And overall, we're back to a three versus five with Revenge almost dead. Yeah, down to very, very low HP as the bomb is successfully planted by AG over on the A site. Zeke finds LSN, but now he's uh, essentially the Whoa. last one left alive. And Three kills. Triple frags coming out there for Even. And, well, that makes it very, very difficult, doesn't it? What a spray down coming out from him. And as you say, <laughs> how difficult does it make it there for Pacific Nacta when you can do, that, do something like that? Now 7-4 here. And I feel like seven rounds is where things start to get a little bit worrisome for your opponent. Yeah. AG starting to uh, look very good here. The attacking side has been favourable for them. But in saying that, still a lot of work to do. Three rounds, it's uh, a few rounds to play with, at least for Pacific Mark Tuh. Look They're not this. out of this. Even sitting on seven frags so far. Of course, three of them he got last round. Oh, with everyone counts, he finds whoa, a double. Whoa, whoa. Zeke and Aldrin going down. Three left alive now for Pacific Macta. But this makes it very difficult. The B side is open. The bomb's coming across. TMQ finds two. And now that leaves Revenge all on his lonesome. We're going to need to see some sort of change here for Pacific Macta because what they're doing at the moment is definitely not working. Every round that goes by makes it look easier and easier for AG. I want to see something change for Pacific Mactor. Maybe stack a bomb site, maybe go for an aggressive push, put a double orb in someone's hands, do something like that. Something needs to change because Pacific Mactor are having real troubles on the defensive side here. AG are just picking up kill after kill after kill and making life so easy for themselves. Well, we're three rounds in and even has nine frags. So I think that pretty much sums up this second half. You can see LSN's already gone down Bayo at 50%, but Cram's going to get picked up as well by TMQ. 157 on the clock. The eighth site is open. The bomb will rotate across. And what can Pacific Mark to do? Surely they need to catch one or two of these players off. Yeah, it's a very early over rotation there from Pacific Mark. And their only hope really lies in Bio, who's sitting up in that sniper's nest. Can he find something here? TMQ should be relatively safe playing around that bomb site. And ZQ is going to come in here with the plant. The smoke grenade comes out from Bio, but he's not able to do all that much more. And here AG have got a very good situation once again. Their post plans, they've been allowed so much time to get into good positions. And Pacific Marketer will have real trouble retaking this one 4v4. Yeah, 25 on the clock. What are they going to do? A lot of work to be done here. You can see Bayo, as we said, down to 50% HP or thereabouts. So they're going to make life a little bit more difficult. A three stack coming from the southern side of the map. They're going to try and push in this way. But look at this. Oh! KG in the perfect spot. Finds one. Can he get a second? Even finds one as well. And Zeke, he picks up a double. And now it's a 2v1. What can Zeke do? It won't matter. He gets picked up. AG pick up another round. Match point now for AG. Nine rounds on the board. Pacific Marketer yet to find an inroad into this this second half. The defensive side has been really, really difficult for Pacific Marketer. And AG are just looking fantastic on that attacking side. They have not been challenged at all in this second half. Every round they've gone through, it's been two or three or four people still alive for the Chinese team. So Pacific Marketer, this is where their backs are against the wall. They need to show us what they've got. Well, they certainly are, and this is uh, putting... Them in good stead coming into tomorrow, Elfish Guy, if they can grab that second seed, if they can play like this, then I think they're going to be in a very, very good chance of making their way through to the grand final. Well, so, so like K, what can he do? Completely flashed out, gets taken down by Even, and once again a 2v4 situation for Pacific Macta. They haven't been able to pull off a clutch like this at all throughout uh, this map so far, and they're going to need to pull off something huge here. Bio and Cram, it all lies on their shoulders, and they have everything to go up against from AG. 70 kg does get dropped down relatively low, but now it is looking like AG have bought enough time for themselves. TMQ finds one. There's another one. Cram goes down, and AG will close it out 10-4. A very, very confusing.